With Ultradox, you can automate your business and let the cloud work for you. As an example, let's build a simple online shop with Ultradox. Right after logging into Ultradox with your Google or Google Apps account, you will find a number of examples in our gallery. You can copy each example to your Google Drive and customize it according to your needs. You will then find a new folder on your Google Drive with the name of the selected project. Once the copy is complete, click on Done to open the Ultradoc containing the workflow. The Ultradoc contains a flow of building blocks that will be executed whenever someone submits the order form. The sidebar on the right hand side provides access to the online help. Let's switch to Google Drive and check out what we've got inside our project folder. In the Invoices folder we will find all generated invoices. The Google Documents will be used as a template for the outgoing confirmation email as well as the invoice. The red file is the Ultradoc that we have opened in the other tab. And finally we will find the spreadsheet containing all the orders. As this sheet collects the responses from a Google form, you will find all the form fields as columns in the sheet. I've also added a number of sophisticated columns, doing some calculations on the entered data. We use these columns to calculate the prices and included VAT based on the data in the prices sheet. Let's now open the Ultradox Trigger add-on for Google Sheets. In the Ultradox Trigger sidebar, you will find all the variables that this sheet provides to be used in the Ultradox templates. The variable names are worksheet.column, so give your worksheet and columns reasonable names. At the bottom of the sidebar, you can activate the Ultradox trigger. Only when the trigger is active, Ultradox will be executed whenever the user submits the form. Let's now go to the live form to see if everything works as expected. This is just an ordinary Google form, so you can simply share it by email or by sharing the link. We are collecting the name, the delivery address, the email, the number of ordered cookies, as well as some baking preferences. This example shows how you can handle data from a grid type question with Ultradox. Right after the form is submitted, the entered data will appear in the spreadsheet. The new row will not only contain the entered data, but you will also find the calculated values based on our formulas. Ultradoc should already be running in the background to send out the confirmation email with an invoice attached. Once the email is sent, the row will be updated and you will find a link to the generated invoice. I should now find the email in my inbox. Ultradoc not only has properly inlined all images, you will also find the delivery address rendered as a map. The data entered in the grid question has been rendered as a nice table with even and odd rows and you will find the data from the calculated columns. Attached we will find a beautiful PDF invoice. Ultradocs can generate PDF documents from both Google Docs or LibreOffice templates. All the data from the sheet has been properly formatted. In the confirmation email you will find a special offer link. This link showcases another great feature of Ultradocs. You can track the link with Google Analytics or even trigger an action whenever the user clicks on a link. In our example, the row will be updated so that we can track the success of the campaign right in the sheet. Let's now have a closer look at the Ultradoc. The building blocks will be executed from top to bottom. First of all, the data from the sheet will be loaded. Then Ultradocs will create the smart link that we've just seen in action. In the next step, Ultradox will generate the personalized HTML email from a Google document. Let's open that document to see how it looks like. You can either open it right from Ultradox or from Google Drive. This is just an ordinary Google document with some special placeholders inside. Let's open the Ultradox template editor add-on for Google Docs. In the template editor sidebar, you will find all the available Ultradox variables. Check out the online help or the tutorial videos for in-depth information.
Simply click on the variables in the sidebar to insert them at the cursor position. With Ultradocs you can render variables in various ways. As we've already seen, the delivery address is rendered as a map by simply leveraging the map renderer. At the bottom we can see how complex data can be rendered as a table, with even and odd rows designed differently. No matter how many rows you have in your grid question, you can use this feature to simply print out all responses as a table. The next building block in our flow will generate a PDF document from a Google document template. Again, this is just an ordinary Google document. As we are generating a PDF document, you can use all formatting capabilities of Google Docs, including web fonts. Right after generating the PDF document, we will upload it to Google Drive. Open the building block to get access to all input and output variables, like the link to the generated document. The next building block will send out the email. The body of the email will be generated from the template that we've opened. The generated PDF invoice will be attached. To rename the attachment, simply click on the file name. The email will be sent out from your Gmail account by default. Let's pick another email account that uses Amazon as an email provider. This will allow us to track the delivery of the email. As soon as you select an account that provides email tracking, you can click on the settings icon in the email block. You can track email delivery with Google Analytics, which is great for newsletters. Or you can even specify an action URL that will be called when the email gets delivered or rejected. As each building block has a unique URL, you can simply call one of the subsequent building blocks. In this example, we update the spreadsheet row whenever the email get bounced. Of course, you could also send out a notification email to a system administrator or alike. To get the unique URL of the building block, just click on the link icon on the right hand side. Of course, you can also trigger Ultradocs or an individual building block from your own application by calling this URL. Let's submit the form again to see if this works. The data already appeared in the spreadsheet and Ultradocs should be running in the background. The row will be updated once the email has been sent. Here we go. The status just switched to delivered, which indicates that the email has been successfully delivered. Let's now force a bounce by entering an invalid email address. Depending on the type of bounce, it may take a while until we get the notification. This is also a great feature when managing the subscribers of a newsletter with Google Sheets. With the Ultradox trigger add-on, you can also run your workflow for selected rows. This may come in handy if you for example want to regenerate invoices for the selected rows. Simply select the rows and click on the run icon. The progress bar indicates which row is getting executed at the moment. The execution report provides the result of each executed building block. Hover over each item to see the full text in the tooltip. I should have received a number of emails in the meantime. As we can see, this email comes from Amazon. To get rid of this message, you will have to verify your email and domain ownership with Amazon. Let's finally have a look at the Invoices folder on Google Drive. Storing the invoices in Google Drive is great because you can use all the search capabilities of Google Drive. This will help you to track down invoices lost by your customers. That's it for now, but there's much more to explore. Thanks for watching.